county has particular roads. The county has particular roads. The state of Wisconsin has roads. Does this same impervious surface rule affect the town roads? They own X amount Y. It's my understanding that it will not affect the town roads. State roads. How come? It's not how the why should not be an exemption? It's written that way, but they're not included in the percentages. I, I agree that it's your, uh, this interpretation, and as I believe, the last version of 2007, they did put it down, but they took it out as the final version. For some reason, I don't know. It wasn't there. Take all the black tiles. Gary. I have one for Peter. I just visited with a, being a town chairman, I visited with one of our town residents that is looking at a project. Had a huge concern because all of the people on Point of Pines Road along the lake are probably only, uh, they have a road, most of them own property on the other side of the road. And because when a road goes in, even though they own that property, that constitutes a, another lot, okay? So now, are there 15% based on both lots or just their lots on the water? The way it's written right now, it applies to one lot, lot of the structure. It says lot or parcel, Sherman lot or parcel. Uh, question about what quantifies the impervious surface uh, of landscape business. And the big buzzword out there now is permeable. Smiled like that, Pete. <laughs> I, 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 I know we go back a long ways on a lot of different issues, but you touch very lightly on the uh, uh, wetland uh, designation, and of course you remember that Gary and I fought very vigorously over the years about the DNR's uh, wetland designation and high water mark. Have they changed it to any significance since we had? some of the problems that we had with various homes here and we fought very strenuously for the individual. And if they haven't, that is even going to compound that problem even worse than what we think the NR115 is going to, affect, how it's going to affect us. They, they attempted to address it by... 
be. He basically stated, did they do anything with this new NR-115 that would address this um, setback to ordinary watermark slash bed slash wetland? Um, and if they haven't, or if they did, he's just making the point that it would have a huge impact on where you see the red marks on the map right now. Right? This map is created going from the actual open water, but some of these things, um, a good example would be Burroughs Lake. Burroughs Lake actually has a wetland complex that would be considered lake bed that goes way around it. Past what you see is red, so this within 1,000 foot from the ordinary watermark would encompass a larger area. The, I would say about a year ago, maybe two years ago, they attempted to add language that would address the setback issue. And Carl and I both sent them letters begging them to make this part of the language change. And the language basically said this. If a wetland extends more than 40 feet between the open water and the wetland upland boundary, the county may establish a setback of 35 feet in land from the wetland upland boundary. 